two different types of HDR images, HDR Pro and HDR Faux or fake HDR. Well, we're going to do both. I've got one, two, three images taken just outside Philip Andrews's um, Paris, uh, sorry, France getaway villa uh, over in Europe there. We're going to use these three to create a HDR image. Bracketed exposures taken, so um, a very high exposure, very low exposure, and one in the middle. Um, we're going to use those three as our starting point in Adobe Bridge CS5. And then we're going to grab these, and then we're going to say Tools, up here under the Tools menu, down to Photoshop, and over to Merge to HDR Pro. Now, as the name suggests, this is tends to be a very pro type uh, way of working, although it is very simple to do in Photoshop CS5. You see, Photoshop will stack all of the images up together to create one image that will allow us to take advantage of the high dynamic range, the combination of all three of those images. And there we have it all stacked together. Now, this is the HDR Pro uh, interface. First of all, if you're just getting started, there's a whole bunch of presets that you can, you can work off. So you can just go ahead and click on these different presets and get a different look. So this is a very high key or very high contrast look that's taking advantage of all of the details in the highlights. It's putting a real edge glow around things and drawing out some details of the shadows. Okay, And we can look at all of the settings down here and try to replicate that. So the highlight's been pulled all the way back. If we like, we can then just go and adjust that back a little bit. Uh, we could push it up the other way, uh, the shadow detail, push them around. But what's really cranked up is the detail slider here, and that gives us that super contrast. If we go ahead and look at some of the other ones, we've got a photorealistic one. I don't know about that. I quite like this super detail one where we can bring this detail slider all the way up. I really love it. Okay, so that's cool. Bring that highlight down. Matter of fact, we might bring that shadow up a little bit. Get the edge glow going. Let's really crank it up. And that's how we get that, um, that look going. Now, if you're working on um, a few exposures, things tend to move in between exposures, particularly if there's a little bit of breeze. And that's what this new option here is for, removing ghosts. So if we go ahead and click on the remove ghosts, should anything have moved in those frames, Photoshop will go and remove them out of there. So now we've got a super cool looking HDR image, high dynamic range image for those of you playing at home. Now, that's not the end of it. We also have a vibrant slider down here in saturation, which is really cool so we can get the most out of the colors, whatever. We also have a tonal curve that we can tool around with as well. So we can bring the tonal curve up and down and uh, play around with the inputs and outputs of that. So that's an advantage also. One extra thing, and I, I think you'll really like this, and this is what makes it particularly useful for me. If you're developing a particular style uh, that you like to work to, maybe you're a wedding photographer or something like that, up here is where we can go ahead Choose the pop-out menu and save and load our own presets. So we can develop a style, call it Mike's really cool style, and then load it up whenever I take a particular type of photo, um, and then away we go. Okay? We can also light, load curves in and out and save them as well. So it's really great. Merge to HDR Pro, and then we simply uh, press OK, and then the file will be created. While that's saving away, not all of us are taking bracketed exposures. Some of us are just taking single exposures, for example, uh, and want to be able to create a HDR type effect. Okay, so this is called HDR toning, and we're able to do that in Photoshop as well. So once this one has saved, we'll go ahead and create a fake HDR, HDR image rather, using HDR toning. Keep in mind, though, that this um, effect, this HDR effect, is just that. It's just effect. Um, it's just an effect, and it is a destructive way of working. Let's go ahead and choose an image here. I'm going to go ahead and choose this photograph 
uh, for a faux HDR. I'm just going to double click that and we're still converting our one in the background. So we'll open up this when we are ready. So there's that one's ready. And we'll just go back here, open up the new one. So the faux HDR is located under the image adjustments. We can come down here to HDR toning. And again, we can grab the detail slider and really crank that up. Uh, we might drop the highlight back a little, bring, bring a little bit of detail back into the highlights, uh, bring the radius and the strength right up to create that really high surrealistic look. We also have a bunch of presets built in here too, so that we can save them and load them in and develop our own style. So there's a lot of exploring to be done in HDR Tony as well as HDR Pro. I hope you really enjoy getting into it and sharing your presets with each other.